Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to start talking about the aside element. We went over a section in the last video. We sort of understood why we use section. Now we're going to start talking about the aside element, when to use it, when not to use it. What exactly does it mean? So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so in the last video, we made our little billboard here. We learned about the section element. Now in this video, we're gonna learn about a sort of companion element in a way to the section in HTML5. Now this element is the aside. So we can make an aside simply by just coming to our HTML and we're gonna do so underneath our section here. And we're gonna say aside and let's go ahead and just fill this aside with some content here. So we can go ahead and say this is going to have an H4 and the H4 is going to say um, and this is going to just be like a newsletter sign up or something like that. So we can go ahead and say sign up and we'll just put a paragraph here. I'm not going to deal with a form right now because we're not going to get into sign up forms just yet or anything like that. And we can just say sign up to learn more about websites. Okay, so we now have this aside tag and we have, an we have a section tag here. If we come to our page, once more you're gonna see that the aside tag really gives this no visual styles. So what's the purpose of the aside tag? Well, the purpose of the aside tag is to say this is secondary content to whatever content it's a part of. So this aside being inside of our main element saying it says that this is secondary content to the main element where the section, this is main con where the section itself is primary content of the main section uh, where it, this is where this billboard is primary content of the main this aside is secondary content. Now, asides, when they first came out, everybody thought that the reason why you'd use them would be for uh, like a sidebar, right? And you can certainly use them for a sidebar. Oftentimes, a sidebar is secondary content. But the actual purpose of a side is really just to say this is secondary. And we can actually have an aside within a section. We can have an aside within an article. You can have an aside within the footer. You can have an aside pretty much anywhere as long as it means that it's secondary content of its context. So now we have an aside. Let's go ahead and add another section in here. So we can just say section and... I'm going to close that up and this is just going to say h3 learn about level up. Okay. Now this is also just going to be a paragraph and we're going to say uh, this is just going to be some text about level up. Okay. Let's close this out save that. So we now have a section. We now have another section. We now have an aside. And we know that this is primary content. This is primary content, but this is not primary content. So now anytime a screen reader or robots or anything like that will be browsing your site, they're going to know what to look at first and what to catalog as being more important. Cool. So in the next video, we're going to be working with floats once more, but only this time we're going to show you how you can create a two column layout and we're going to throw this aside that we have right here. We're going to actually make it into a sidebar and then we're going to have this main body context take up like 70% of the screen or so. And we're going to have sort of the classic two column layout that you might be used to seeing on some websites. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.